Hi, awesome people. Welcome to our Pets Academic channel. Today, I'm talking about the topic, does the Dallas Zoo have capybaras? If you are new to our Pets Academic channel, please subscribe. You can also like and comment on our videos so that we can get to know you better. Consider reading the full in-depth blog post I have written on this topic. You can find it by going to the link in the description. So, let's dive in. Capybaras are native to Central and South America and can weigh up to 100 pounds. They are semi-aquatic mammals, meaning they can swim and live near water. They forage for food such as grasses, aquatic plants, fruits, tree bark, and roots in the morning and evening hours. Some people wonder whether the Dallas Sioux has capybaras. The bad news is that Dallas Sioux had one large capybara, and it died last February 2022. However, Dallas World Aquarium is home to two capybaras. Something about the Dallas Zoo. The Dallas Zoo is a fun and educational experience for all ages. With over 406 species of animals, you can learn about the diversity of wildlife from around the world. The zoo also offers interactive exhibits, keeper talks, and animal shows throughout the day, so you can get up close to your favorite creatures. Plus, be sure to check out their Zookeeper for a Day program, where you can learn how to care for animals and help feed them. The Dallas Zoo is the perfect place to explore and make memories that will last a lifetime. Capybaras in the Dallas Zoo Capybaras have been rare to find. The zoo had one male capybara that lived with them for nine years before it passed away in February of 2022. As of now, there is no news on any future plans of having a capybara in the Dallas Zoo's animal family. However, there are many other zoos in Texas with capybaras that you can visit. Read this to know more about capybaras in Texas. In the full blog post I have written on my website, I have done hours of research and I have written much more details about the above topic and subtopics. The blog article is more than a thousand words, and I dive into each of the above topics, covering many more questions around them. Just click the link below, and you can read all about my research on this topic. See you inside the blog post, and let me know if you have any more questions in the comments below. Have a great day, and thank you for checking out PetsAcademic.com.